help if I'd talk and unmute myself. Short version of that, that cutscene plays off before you get before you get to the main menu and that's the only place where it'll show. And I want the people to be able to see that in its entirety without, uh, uh, well, at least without me talking over it. I'll put, uh, I'll <laughs> not mute, uh, I'll not mute the tier for this. But uh, I want people to just enjoy this, so we're going to have to go dark for a moment again. And then mute myself. You're on end of the screen, Jero. Better hurry. I don't like the look of that sky. There! I think that's it! Ah, cozy. <coughs> what the hell? What's that stink? I think I'd rather be outside. Who's there? Calm down. It's me, Rome. Pack your things, we're leaving. And take a bath, laddie. You're making my eyes water. Is that you, Jonesy? You ugly rat. I'm a mole, you smelly git. It's still as irritating as ever. Were you followed? Don't ask questions. King Forge's men are coming after you. <laughs> I'm not surprised. You're in all the newspapers. You probably led them here. Now get out before... Rexus, the king has linked you to the Book of Rule. Link me to it. What are you talking about? Don't you remember? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned in my old age, it's that nothing is obvious. You were the keeper of the book. Oh, really? Before you lost it, 
in that accident. So? So they want you to unleash his powers. Ha! Rexus, you're the one who bleeding cast the spell that locked the book's powers in the first place. Yes, well, it does seem somewhat obvious. So what, are uh, we going into hiding then? Ah, oh, that's the good bit. We got a different idea. Come on. What, what are you talking about? I am talking about the ultimate heist. A chance to do some good. Gain some more recognition. I'm talking about giving King Forge a swift kick to the... Oh, please, cut to the chase. I'm feeling myself age here. We're going to steal the book, and you're going to help us. Are you mad? You wanted men. You can't walk into Forge's territory and expect to get through scot-free. Listen, you filthy git. Once Forge unlocks that book, it'll be over for all of us. Oh, come on, Rexy. It'll be fun. No way. Absolutely no way. Besides, I have my dogs to look after. Look, Rexus. Here you go, fellas. Come and get it. Best guide dogs I ever owned. Now on your way. I'm in danger even speaking to you. Open up! In the name of the king! I know it! We'll come for the old blind man, Rexus! Quick, hide! We'll deal with him. I'll handle this. They won't recognize me at all. I could be wrong here, but I'd say only one of us looks like an old blind man. I have my glass eyes! They'll never know that Rexus and I are one in the same. What? Wait! Hey! Nobody! <laughs> 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 Move. We are here for the blind man, Rexus. Step forward now, and we will spare the rest of you. His eyes. There's something strange about them. Yes, the man's got brilliant vision. He's known as Eagle-Eyed Charlie back Old home. man, if you can see so well, go and fetch me that glass of water from the table. Your water, sir! Aha! Drop the table, old man. The king wants to see you. Oh! My flies! Move it! And kill the lion hearts. Yeah, two birds with one stone. Are you a moron? They're people, not birds! Thanks, Q. Oh, that's giving me a right bastard behind the eyes. Q? Daddy? No. Come on, let's go. Yes, yes, of course. What? <laughs> this game is sure? something, huh? Yeah, uh, you sure they are not British, but they. Or I thought the feel like the Divert Moon, Planet Moon, really like British humor. <laughs> they do. Just for clarification, Planet Moon Studios is from California. <laughs> <laughs> like halfway across the freaking planet from <laughs> from Britain. Yeah, but some for both the games have been so heavily British humored. Like, yeah. They really go out of the way to get British actresses out of life. Um, yeah, speaking of Planet Moon, this is the second game that they made, and compared to Giants in Kabuto, I'd say they perfected things quite well. Yeah. Like, the it's graphics so are still old compared to what we have today, but it's a <laughs> lot it's a lot less colorful, I'll give it that. But it's a lot more realistic-ish looking. Ish that's a stretch. Uh. Especially considering what we saw with the dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's also a thing. They they just throw a lot more jokes at you with this. Uh. Uh, I also thought that there were many people. It is all 
to be focused on it as much as the nuclear power. So I'm just going to drop this a little bit there, and I might as well turn these on, and then we can get started on a new game. And yeah, all of that is required to basically get a yeah the, story, the feeling for the story. And there's actually a story in the manual as well if I could find the bleeding game. But uh, yeah, there's a lot more to this world. Let's start on normal. And <laughs> uh, you found one token. You have found one of 21. You <laughs> need one more token to unlock play cutscene feature. Yeah, we, there's a bunch of <laughs> tokens throughout everything. Uh, <laughs> which unlocks well features like that. And uh, yeah, based on a true story. Really? <laughs> that, that's what gets, gets me. <laughs> Such a bullshit! Uh. In it. Okay, storm the base. The king's men have taken Raxus to their base. Get tinker bombs from the pub. Blow two gates between you and base. Tips: use the compass to locate your objectives. There you go. And yeah, we get thrown right into things. Uh, let's see. Did it keep my? I tested the game a bit earlier. Controls. Okay, it kept my mouse sensitive because at well, I'll actually show controls. Normally, this is at fifty percent, and if I do this, yeah, I'm just making small turns here. That is way too much. Oh, seriously, having the same issue as Giant Citizen of Kabuto. Also, the the, the reason this. There, this isn't the actual resolution. I'm using a, a bit of a hack from fans to force a bigger resolution. Well, yeah, this is the game maxed out. And, uh, yeah, we start off with this, a rifle, infinite ammo, but only eight rounds in a clip. We can zoom in with E, just like with Einstein Kabuto. And we have uh, these mines, or actually those sticky explosives, which we can throw with the right mouse button. Don't turn off my system. Anyway, we can cause a bit of mayhem already with just that. What the? <laughs> Expect a lot of explosions in this game. Uh. And yeah, for some reason, the, the king's grunts have uh, bows and arrows, of all freaking things. He wants only have guns. Great. Could use a drink to warm me up. Oh, the game made. Okay, the game is getting a very loud. It's going into the red, so let me drop that a bit. Yes, we're loaded. It looks. It could be on my end when it looked a bit choppy. Um, I'm only seeing like 0.1% of all frames drops. Okay. Alright, hope. Uh, yeah. Our enemies can have these mountain guns, which we can, of course, mount ourselves. Make your own jokes with that. And uh, yeah, there, there's like you actually get some points if I remember correctly for causing mayhem. So, uh, how big are the penguins? <laughs> big enough to go into orbit. Wish I had more explosives. <laughs> uh, yeah, similar to that. That is really loud when things start firing. Okay, I I didn't remember this game being this loud. So. I'm hoping, actually, it might be better if I. It might be better if I drop those sounds in the games itself. Otherwise, the characters might not be as audible as they should be. Yeah, I move on to my mic away from my screen. Uh, let's. 
to avoid in case it's not the wing. Uh, you, you should still get some, uh, some ear, good quality earbuds for that. Yeah. I don't think right. And yeah, here we have the pub. And we get in. Welcome to the Grunt and Polwart. Home of the resistance, if you know what I mean. We have a wide assortment of drinks for you. And when I say drinks, I mean high powered firearms. Down with the king! Okay, subtle. Ah, uh, yeah, Tinker Bombs, which basically just. <laughs> we are just going to use that to blow stuff up. Similar to the uh, uh, pop up bomb, but uh, far less overpowered. And a uh, <laughs> topsy turvy bomb. We'll get to see this thing in a bit. Yeah, these people really love uh, anything British, it seems, or. Yeah, even this public British. Yeah. UK, uh, I mean. Yeah. Hawking's rifle, Fleming machine gun, and yeah, unlike Giants, we have. Well, Delphi had limited weapons, but she still had two basic ones. We can only carry around three weapons with this. And the game saves a lot in this, which you know, Giants didn't have. So that is one complaint that they really took to heart. Uh, let's see, how do I swap... Okay, with Q I can swap my main rifle. Um, what do I use to swap secondary weapons? Are bagpipes? Uh, yeah, those were <laughs> bagpipes. Ah, spam. Okay. First, let's put this down. Armed. And the intro. Oh, we have an alarm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> That was Q, or no, that was Jonesy, I think, no. throwing a, bunch, <laughs> a bundle of dynamite. Yeah. Uh. Okay, oh. A, some, a perhaps somewhat familiar looking... Actually, no, the, the design isn't that similar. Come on. Okay, we do it. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> yeah, this is what the Topsy Turvy Bomb does. It'd be a lot more impressive if there were actual enemies around to show what it does to them. Uh, oh, hello there. And let's quickly go back to grab another. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I'd forgotten you. To damage the barracks in this game, you actually Toby, need explosives. I've never asked this before, but uh, would you hold my hand? I, I mean, Sam. S Sam, that I got from the beach early. Really, really early this morning. Okay. What the heck? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the compass up in the right, I think that also shows you what, what direction your objectives are. And this is the perfect place. Yep, it reverses gravity. Oh, Did you see that? Or see nothing? <laughs> and then reverses it right back. Under the trees. Oh. Let's see how many of is needed. Okay, two or three. Ah. Uh, Okay, yeah, as always, enemies generally drop stuff that you can use. Can we actually shoot these things apart? Yes, we can. We shouldn't stand too close, though, because of our... They, well, they go boom. They're, they're freaking oil wells. Of course they go boom. And I think I'll lower the voices back down a bit more, because they are a bit loud. Wrong place. Yeah, 70 should be about right. Hopefully that doesn't affect it too much in cutscenes. 
bombed. Uh, uh, yeah, Jonesy and Q here. They have a lot more personality to them than Reg and Tell did. Tell all your classic blow run through the gates. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't think the fire hurts. Yep, yeah, it doesn't. Well done, Q and, and Jonesy will stay here to guard your back. Yeah, we have solo missions in this as well. <laughs> and we have statistics. Uh, come on, only tw <laughs> only twenty percent hit. <laughs> Wow. We got $5,550 for kills. <laughs> it cost us $80 in accidents. We didn't rescue anyone and we got $3,500 in loot. I don't actually remember what it is, this is for, so we'll have to find it out ourselves. Oh, yeah, that. Our, our bounty goes up with that. Uh. Rescue Rexus. You are inside the Kingsman's base. Your mission: get to the prison, take over the forge cannons, blow open the prison gates, and free Rexus. Tip: destroy the alarms to keep enemies at bay. Uh. Any moment. I think that's still going to be a bit loud. Can you repeat that? Because you were drowned out by the game. I said, are the penguins the citizens? <laughs> no. The penguins are penguins. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need... Oh. I thought I shot you already. Okay. Uh, luckily, when you kill an enemy, there's a good chance that if they drop anything, it'll get thrown towards you. This is very useful. Yeah, I throw them through an ammo, an ammo pit back here. Fine. Okay, that went well, I'd say. Oh, hello there. Yeah, the Hawking's rifle is good by the range, but yeah, let's just say the machine gun is the most used weapon in this game. Reload. I hear another gun position around the corner. There probably need to be a bit of finicking around with the sound in this game. Welcome back, Mr. Roman. Can I interest you in a Cyclops sniper rifle? <laughs> okay, Guy Fox Trader Bomb. Yep, that uh, basically well, it looks and it see <laughs> the sounds exactly like what it is. Sniper Can rifle. Yeah, it's a hypnotist oh. medallion. And oh, yeah. I sort of said gay. Okay. <laughs> okay, sniper rifle is it's a one shot sniper rifle. Is it bad that I can feel nothing oh. or see nothing? Uh, you... No, not the rifle. No, you don't. <laughs> Uh, I'll save this for a bit bigger, but first let me rush forward and deal with that alarm. Okay. Oh, something behind. Yes, something behind me. Give me that. Okay. <laughs> Where the there you are. <laughs> it, it, you're. You'd be a lot better at your job if you weren't shooting at the freaking wall. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, this game is a lot faster. Well, Giants was also fast-paced, but uh, this puts it on the next level compared to that. Yeah. See? Oops. Who shot at me? Or you shot at me. Thank you. Reload. That was a bad time. And just finish them off. Let's see. I'll, I'll need to check who did the music for this game. Because I don't know if it was Jeremy Soul as well. And uh, yeah, our in-game <laughs> our bounty shows up in the game. 
Oh, hello. Token. Okay, you unlock play cutscene. Okay, perhaps it would have been better if I had played a bit forwards to unlock that. <laughs> so to avoid the uh, shenanigans at the start of the stream. For which I will extend it a bit. Oh, uh, I accidentally threw the trader bomb there. Uh, yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> I, I'd forgotten that. I'd, I'd forgotten. Sometimes when you blow up a building or blow up a barracks, uh, one of them will come crawling out alive. <laughs> oh. Better. There's the siren. Bad time to reload. Yes, I can, and I will. Let's see. Yep, yeah, there. <laughs> there's the survivor. Uh, I should show what this. Yeah, the, <laughs> what happens when you strike those onto them? They <laughs> they go running. <laughs> Uh, let's see, nothing behind. Just some goodies. And I should reload. Before that happens in the middle of the fight. Oh, oh yeah, these. These are the forge cannons. Okay, that has dealt with the most. But a shot coming right for my face. Okay. Move. Oh, oh, that almost killed me. Yeah, it does. You still have to be careful in this game because your health can go down real fast. Oh, hello there. And goodbye. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I sent him into the next fucking zip code. Uh, one thing that is annoying about these things, though, as is very obvious by just this these things are noisy as all fuck. Uh. I have to admit it. I like watching things blow up. Don't we all, Roman? <laughs> all right, okay. that's it. Time for some gunplay. Feel nothing or see nothing. Okay. Oh, oh crap. Oh. I might actually die. Yeah, I think we can have a ball. Good work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Yep. Don't you uh, think it <laughs> you let, you've let Raxus down. He'd be disappointed <laughs> in you if he wasn't <laughs> if he weren't busy being tortured by Forge's men. <laughs> uh, I'll have to admit I didn't I, I didn't die often originally when I played this game. And this is quite a bit back. So yeah, I I didn't <laughs> I'd completely forgotten about those game over events. Can I drop off the rifle? Because now that we have the machine gun, it's quite a bit useless. Down with the king! Can, no, I can't put it away. You're forced to holding it if you can't swap it out with anything else. Go! 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 Come on. Oh, hold on. Okay, you just spawn in behind me, huh? Smart ass. You guys go deal with that. Oh, oh that's a lot of them, and <laughs> uh, yeah, they'll they'll also run away from grenades planted in the ground. Thank you. Okay, one of the <laughs> players playing Elmer freaking Fudd. Actually, you get a grenade. Who's, you're shooting me in the back. Okay, did, did they just run out of people? 
You catch. Nope. <laughs> if that was a bit wasted, but okay. Uh, where is that alarm? Is that the next one that's already active? That was wrong. Hello there. Bad time to reload. When faced with the machine gunner. Thank you. Ooh, I didn't know they had kidneys. So can I get it? Uh, that one's already collected. You guys have a frisbee. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes they just give up and kick around like a flailing child. Finally shut that the hell up. See, hello there. Right there. Yeah, ex Look <laughs> out! The hell? I <laughs> I didn't know that could break it. For a moment I thought I was blocked. Off oh, there now. Um, we have a bit of a problem. I'm one hit away. Uh, make that two hits. Uh, that that works. <laughs> Completely unintended, but it works. You get back here. Yeah, I'm completely out. Of Okay, this is going to be a bit troublesome. <laughs> Just put it lightly. Like let's just let's just stay in this thing as long as possible. I have to admit it. I like watching things blow up. Okay. There we go. Motherfucker with his grenades. Uh, and now we have to go do that again. Can I actually change the difficulty whilst we're in here? Uh, hmm. I don't see it. <laughs> okay, if, if we fail this, if we, if I die again, I'll, uh, I'll lower the difficulty and. Okay, if I throw one on you, you, you just salute and blow up. <laughs> someone else shot. Gee, thank you for that. Have you been to Shaggy Field? Most beautiful sheep in the world. Oh, hello, Roman. Uh, we were just talking about. Uh, shh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot of those pop conversations are just absolutely ludicrous and dumb <laughs> and brilliant. That got me back. Thank you. Uh, with the penguin, I was hoping that it would run forward and blow up in the middle of these guys. <laughs> okay. Reload. Bonk. You have one, you have one. Okay, give me that. There you are. Yeah. It's now it's our turn on this fucking thing. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, only you left. Bye bye. I think they're over here. No, no. Oh. Yeah, these machine gunners are the biggest threat we have at the moment. Come on. Where did you come from? Something. But where did you come from? Kill me, you blightness. Okay, where's the difficulty? Uh, return to title screen. Is it set in here? Yes, it is set in there. Okay, then. It seems like we're going to have to start over on easy then. So we just we'll just have to rush through this first part. Let's continue. It says it easy should go quicker. Really. Yeah, and we're playing this mostly for the story and such. And I probably should have gone for the barrels first. But yeah, this thing is useful in that a headshot with this thing usually kills in one shot. Okay, like that. Oh, could use a drink to warm me up. Okay, just rushing through. Wish I had more. Welcome to the Grunt and Pole Yes, Walmart. yes. Home of the Resist. More explosives. Yes, yes. We've seen that before. I'll add a. I'll add. A, how about, I'll add 15 Ready. minutes to the game for this. Okay, I couldn't tell if that was Q or Jonesy this time. Okay. Ooh, uh, topsy turvy. It has a limited range though. So, uh. As uh, abs absolutely absurd as it is, it is limited by its range. <laughs> Why did we have a team with the trees? Some bank distance. Actually, I think I can can't defend. Defend me. Oh. Yeah, you can give Q and Jonesy some commands like basic, you know, stick to me or come to, return to me. Go defend somewhere. And they are more than capable. And yeah, we have their... Oh, they have their own health bars down there. Uh, it's not game over if they die. Uh, they can... But they can only respawn a certain amount of times. Armed. After that, you're on your own. Okay. Wait, did it did it keep the score from the, the other save? No. Okay. I shouldn't be wasting all of these pickups. Oh yes, the power of the bullet. Oh, I could do with a pint. Come on. Welcome back, Mr. Roman. Can I interest yes. you in a sa Yes, yes, already talk. Gun. You be gone. Oh, hello there. I I do like that some of them try to climb the roofs. Okay, come on. That was a grenade full in my face. And yeah, that was... Yeah. That was just a miserable amount of damage that that did. 
This will be easy. No, we are on easy, so things will be a lot easier. But you saw that how tough this game was on normal alone, and yeah. later on we'll be facing a lot, lot of enemies. Did I just get hit from the side? Is that a split? Okay, survivor. Uh, uh, oops. <laughs> and there goes someone's house. <laughs> Come on, switch. There we go. Yeah, you can if if they manage to ambush me with a ma with a bunch, they can still crack up the damage real fast. Let's deal with that thing. Okay, I've never seen one of them do that. I've never seen them climb the towers. Typically, because they don't survive long enough to. <laughs> But uh, yeah, with a lot of this game, you can just see how Planet Moon perfected, or at least s strongly improved, on what they had with Giants. Look out! I want to check like, there's a lot of people here involved in Giants, but I'm able to do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a close call. Uh, I'm print screening that. Dr. Gimme. I like watching things blow up. It's four times that he said that. But yeah, just seeing how much they improved from one game to the next, it just makes it extra sad that they never actually made a good game you know, after this. Well, they weren't allowed to make a good game because they were bought up and forced to do shitty ports. You. No, you don't. And I was the wrong. I was the traitor bomb again. I I keep forgetting about that stupid thing. And yeah, here's Raxus. Did they tie you up by the fucking neck? What uh, also, that look, that just looks <laughs> that just looks disturbing. Uh, let's put you out of <laughs> your and our misery. Uh, Raxus owes you his life. Uh. Went much quicker. Yeah. We gotta warm him up or he'll die. No problem. Here's a little trick I learned back in Kalios during the Lime Dixon War. Oh, good idea, mate. What? I've seen this done before. Uh. He'll split open the dead beast's stomach and stick Rexus amongst the warm entrails. Should keep him warm for at least a day. Right, I'll be off here vomiting. <laughs> no, that's not necessary. Just stick him in there. <laughs> better when they're dead. Okay, Rexus. Mammy, I feel like I've been born again. Uh, yeah, right. Rex, listen, we need a way into the wild wood and you're the only one who can do it. Yes, of course I am. My powers were unmatched in their day. I wouldn't go that far. Stop idling about. We need to find the lady of the pond. Ah, uh, she'll get us in. He really is quite mad. 
rivet cue. We need him. <laughs> I think we've broken Drakir. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, we're kind of broken this time. I'm not on a full but you're in shock. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that was a Star Wars reference that they half half did <laughs> with the whole <laughs> cutting open the taunt on <laughs> you know, thing. When they skipped that part, I just <laughs> shoved it right up its ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> break into one of my now. Oh no. It's <laughs> uh. <laughs> so disturbing away. Uh. Okay, but that does confirm one thing to me, and that is that the the sound of the voices in the cutscenes isn't affected by the voices in yeah, well, the options menu, because that was going at like half the height that the rest of the game was, so I might just have to drop the volume of everything else, us included, to be more comparable to that. So I, I hope it wasn't all drowned out for the people me maybe watching this. <clears throat> oh dear. All right, liberate Fjorkin village. The king's troops threaten the local pub. Destroy the window grunts, captains, and barracks. Get tinker bombs from the pub. Tip, window grunts are the guys snapping at you from houses. The pub won't open until the king's troops are destroyed. Thank okay. you. Rex is getting here. Grunt. Internal tea resources will keep you warm. Allow me, Jones. Come on in. The tea's warm. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Q is, uh, the best description would probably be a tea terminator. As in T-E-A. <laughs> No, a a oh. team nominator. <laughs> uh, Look, lads, the sun. Uh, basically, his background in the booklet is that he was the first of an experimental new type of uh, combat robot. Uh, but he went a bit haywire when he accidentally swapped his oil with tea or something. Yes, <laughs> it is that stupid. And. <laughs> And Jonesy here, he is one of the last of his kind, because in this if universe... If it's all the same to you, can we get into a fight, please? <laughs> um, <laughs> basically, the mole men in this universe used to be, or on this planet, used to be a lot more numerous, but uh, they, weren't, they weren't playing ball with King Forge. So what he did is he filled their minds with oil and lit them all the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, just a minor bit of genocide. Target the barracks first. Sure blow that up. <laughs> One going on a long distance vacation. I don't think we can actually get on top of these. Nope. I just have to shoot the assholes off of them. Yep. The eyes are not terrible, you're freaking hearts. Apparently, his heart is discus shaped. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, after this stream, I'll have to tinker around with the audio a bunch. I'm not actually immortal, you know. <laughs> Shut up, Roman. That. Where the heck did you come from? 
Sticking your flailing in there. Okay, that's the first half done. Okay, open up. Right, who's for a good wrestle and a pint? <laughs> of course, that's the first thing that Jonesy goes for. And yeah, our weapons were reset to the rifle and the machine gun. The machine gun is luckily staying along. For... And yeah, we did use the sniper rifle, but instead, now we get the shotgun. Or rather, the land shotgun. E what? <laughs> I can what? hear the, the absolute confusion. Why did we show that off? Okay, you have achieved your objectives, but, it, but the Kingsmen are building colossi, generating robots in town. Only the Lionel Hutch can stop them. Blow two gates, use Tinker Bomb to destroy five you know, colossal, you know, <coughs> colossal scaffolds, and another one to open a way out of town. Ready! See? And yeah, you'll notice that this thing only has two ammo. I have to admit it, I like watching things blow up. But uh, that's because. Uh, go! What? <laughs> yep, it fires a land shark. What? <laughs> and those two are going to keep nibbling around a bit. Did you see that? Oh, uh, why are you coming after me? No, you have the penguin. <laughs> have some poultry in your, <laughs> your diet. Okay. Drawback. <laughs> Uh, it might be, uh, it's, it's fin was going down, but it might have well just been from that, de from it, well, dying, or despawning. But or trying to fall or you're not in view, or he was trying to in view. Uh, let's try not to find out. Armed. Not until we've saved, at least. <laughs> Only five more to go. Okay. Let's get some backup. Go. And go. Destroy that. And yeah, here we have the Colossi. Or at least their frames. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, they're already taken care of. Must be freezing. Uh, wrong button. At least the game won't swap you to guns you don't have ammo for. Oh, you. Armed. And yeah, while the sharks will stick around for quite a while, uh, they won't. Only three more to go. Yeah, no, it's no. I think they tr they can travel quite a bit, but they won't stick around for too long. Wrong button. No, not the wrong button. It was the correct button. It's just that I'm completely out of explosives. Thank you. And you. And, oh, uh, <laughs> Did I just throw that into the guy's midriff? No, oh, wait. I could have just used a the gun there. You first. There we go. Ready. Uh. Yeah. We'll be seeing more of these Colossus Max later in the game. Again, I could not see who threw that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait. I think we'll see one a lot earlier than I actually thought. Please be alive. I don't see any robots. Only one more to go. And so, there I was, 
whisk in hand, and enough women to stun a horse. Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, Gurner personal mortar. And yeah, that is just a fucking tuba gun. <laughs> Uh. A risk in hand and not win with the stun up. Oh. What the heck is that supposed to mean? Uh, yeah, we get to fight one of these bastards. I saw the fish gone. And yeah, it is basically just <laughs> a big turret on some chicken legs. Uh, for <laughs> okay, for a moment I thought, is it going to die or not? I forgot to lay an egg. Sorry, Q. Okay, gimme those. <laughs> okay. I think this is the last one. And then we're home free. Ready. Okay, who do you think you are? Special forces? Oh. That's the last of us. I love it. Okay. Um hmm. there probably was a token hidden somewhere in this level. But I don't really have the intention to collect them all, unless I accidentally find them. I do remember that some are in uh in buildings that you have to blow up. But for now, let's get out of here. Armed. And we find get another cutscene. <laughs> it's them! You! Show me your papers! What? Papers! Now you listen to me. That's it! Prepare them for a full cavity search! Our teeth are fine. Now stand aside. Show me your papers! Now! You don't need to see our papers. We you don't, don't need, need to, to see, see your, papers. your papers. Good. Uh, you're, um... We, um... Uh, 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 quick! What should I say to them? I'm running out of power! Quick, what, what should, should he say to us? us? He's running, running out, out of power. power. Tell them... Tell them they're both teapots. No Scottish miners. Look, just tell them we're not the ones they're looking for. Wait, wait. I can handle this. Um, uh, you're both French. We surrender. Ah! Come on. Come on. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> that was a low blow. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, just for the record, the French were one of. Uh, did some of the hardest battling in World War II. <laughs> yeah, so that yoke is kind of unfair against them. Yeah. Like, they don't deserve that. That's, that's just mean. And I don't and... know who... Was it Americans that started that yoke, or... or who? Uh, I don't know, actually. But I wouldn't be surprised. And yeah, here is another type of mission that we'll be seeing, and we'll be seeing this quite a lot. Let's see, defend Fjorkin village. The king's men are here blocking the way to the mountains. Survive as long as you can. Wipe out as many troops as you can. If you lose, you lose if 100 grunts enter the village. Operate the turrets, move left and right on the turret tracks. Primary fire for cannons, secondary for mortar. And yeah, the mortar is obviously the big fucking thing in the middle, which we, with which we can do this and start pestering them as they approach. I don't know if this actually has an effect on anything. Okay. Miss. Are we bumping tank with the control yard? And yeah, th those are just... <laughs> just pictures running forwards. Ooh, no, you don't with the freaking you know, ladder. Hey, uh, nope. Already taking damage. Uh, 
it goes. Yeah, we can die during this. No other clingers. You. That was a bit wasteful, but okay. Oh yes, oh. the power of the bully. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, that's a token. <laughs> okay. Come on, you assholes. Did the glass already break? Uh, I didn't notice if it did. Yeah, yeah, we just have to hold them off as long as possible. And it seems that a single one did get through. And more are looking to get through now. So get rid of all of you. Some of the, uh, some of them are wasting their time shooting at me. Oh, sneaky bar. Oh. Is that another plane overhead? Okay, this is an impressive amount of enemies on screen, huh? Um, more have gotten through. Ah, oh, crap, they got those up. Yeah, the ladders, of course, make it a lot easier for them. I should have been shooting those first. One of them's running. Okay, once they're over the wall, they're in front of the wall. No, you don't. I can be home with a cup of grog instead of getting shot at. Well, that was a lull. And that's that. You just got to go hold them off for a certain amount of time. Loopy. <laughs> 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 Now, let's see. I don't remember if there's another cutscene after this. Probably is, so I'll be turning the camera off again. So people can enjoy that in full. Without my ugly mug mucking it up. Captain Vindaloo, what word of Rexus? Our torture chambers are filled. We'll soon have the information. I never tire of that sound. Has the peasant spoken yet? <sighs> Not yet, sire. What torture have you performed on him? Well, all right. We started off by removing that guy's tongue, right? But he still hasn't said a word. And what's going on with the other one? Okay, so that guy, we took off his head. And we replaced it with this large cauliflower that Bruno had. But he hasn't spoken either. A couple more hours should probably do it. He's new. And how was Rexus able to escape in the first place? The Lionheart. They're protecting him, sire. I want this problem taken care of immediately, or it'll be the torture chamber. The Lionheart should pose any threat to you. Yes, sire. Now leave me. I must speak with Prince Stig. Stig, my son. Once again, it's time to tell you of the Great Book of Rule. It is now in our possession. And once the Wildwood monks have unlocked it, we'll use its power for supreme rule of the land. Why, we could even use it to increase your intelligence if you'd like. Would you like that? Stig? Yes, yes, I knew you would. You'll be a great leader one day, my son. Are these your pills? You're only supposed to take one a day, not the entire bottle. Anyway, yes, yes indeed, you'll be a great leader. For it was so ordained 25 years ago when the Knights of Lodor, upon arriving at the great Oracle of Jorfi, saw the great Kinderwook spirit one early morning, announcing your coming. We are on the threshold of a new era, my son. Do you have anything to say? Well? Stig have new trick! Oh, what would that be? We'll 
would continue this conversation later. Sire, we have tracked Rexus to the Midden Mountains. He won't get away now. Rexus, move it! What's wrong? Nothing. Shh. I just... Uh, my flies! Stinky son. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> We're looking for a way through this mountain pass. What's wrong? I was the keeper of Midden's sacred lamb. But the Ford troops took him! <laughs> oh! You don't happen to know a way around this landslide, do you? Oh, please! Save him! Bring back my sacred land of Midden! And return hope to our land! Sorry, laddie. It's not on our agenda. I'll get you through to the other side, I promise! <laughs> Just bring back the sacred land and remove this pall of depression we have all lived with for so long. Wanker. Sacred land of Midden? <laughs> so, what's your reaction? <laughs> Are you just shocked again? someone in there that might have sounded really familiar to a certain series of games that we've been streaming. Octavius? Wait, no, that was not a series. I tire of you, Raziel. Does that help? Damn it, what was his name again? That, uh, the voice actor, that is. <laughs> King Forged, you know, King Forge is voiced by Tony J, who also voiced the Elder God in the Soul Reaver series. Oh, okay, I'm the... And Shere Khan, apparently, from the <laughs> Jungle Book. I thought you meant Kane. Nope. Uh, and yeah, that that wasn't an actual quote, but uh, probably something that the Elder God would have said sooner or later. Uh, several times. Uh, let's see. Apparently, the the voice actor of Sebulba from Star Trek, uh, from Star Wars Episode One, is also in here doing a <laughs> the Vindaloo. <laughs> okay, I never would have guessed that. And uh, let's see. Rob Paulson is also back, as is Jeff Bennett. Uh, Jeff, Jeff Bennett is actually voicing Jonesy. Okay. Uh, Jeff Bennett you know, also voiced in Giants and Kabooter, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me just double check because I have uh, IMDb open here. If oh, it no. wants to load. Okay, well, that is uh, having a stroke with the internet. Let's continue on. Uh, rescue the sacred lamb of Midden. The king's troops have the secret lamb. The sacred, no, not the secret lamb. The, se the secret lamb is just. Uh, <laughs> they wouldn't appreciate that here because it's well, lamb chop <laughs> baked in, <laughs> in barbecue sauce. Uh, take out all eight sniper captains. Recover the sacred lamb. The captains are the guys in blue. The machine gun assholes. Oh, I'm sorry, you admit it, Jones, but I'm scared of heights. Ah, the mountains. Lots of mines around here. <laughs> that, 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 was, that was completely unintentional. I did not know those guys would be coming running up here. Oh, they just my wrist was away to grab a bowl of candy. It did not work. This is movie quality to watch. Uh, Actually, it's oh. What do you think someone made a movie of this game? I'd say go to hell for it. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's In a fourth to one go, I was going to get I need to watch out because I'm getting shot up. Oh, there's fucking cannons. 
Yeah. Now, now that you die. Yep. Ow, my legs. You, not me. <laughs> yeah, and this is uneasy. You failed to save the sacred land. The grunts are getting ready to carve it up for dinner. <laughs> Okay, I, I, maybe at the end I'll, I'll replay any level in which I didn't die just to show up what the hell these to talk about. Yeah, they just they just improved their comedic writing by like a hundredfold in this game, I'd say. Sniper! Can I throw that far? I can't throw that far. Uh, get a bit of dough. Those loose. Uh, we need to keep our distance from those cannons because those can still deal a fuck ton of damage to us. Oh, hello, boys. And, okay, it is Jonesy who throws the dynamite. Okay. Oh yeah, that was. And then she looked at me in the moonlight, eyes twinkling like the stars above, and said, ah! "Oh, hello, Roman." Uh, knockout bomb. I completely forgot what that does, but I think we can all make a good guess. And I think Rakir's blue screened again. Wait, what? Just you know that you were silent <laughs> from a lack from whatever they were saying in there. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. What's a blue screen for a fur, man? I get to worry about the pop owner. Or the pop, the water is constant wind. Okay, let me get the sniper. Yeah, the sniper you know, guys, they, they have these elaborate cannon suits. And I, I think there's... They're, I think they're halfway supposed to be a, a reference slash joke to uh, MDK. Since a lot of the people... Look how beautiful hmm? the sky is. <laughs> since Planet Moon was started by a bunch of the people who made uh, the MD, MDK-1 at the very least. The one and, uh, uh, MDK... It, it's a game we'll get to in time, but one of the characters, oh, right. one of the characters, Kurt, he has in a, a rather unique outfit or combat suit. And actually, I probably could have just shot those. Did I ever tell you the story? That has this big the ass uh, sniper scope stuck in his face. Yeah, uh, everyone coming over. <laughs> okay. That, the hell did you come from? Also, behind. You, Joe. I was get over here, you, you dumbasses. I'm better than my programming. <laughs> okay, let me just grab that and get out of the firing line. I might have accidentally told them to guard there. Okay. I will not be surprised. Let's see. Okay. I don't remember seeing that thing a lot. Like a little uh, scanning hovercraft thing. Um, can I just shoot? Actually, this will probably do nicely. <laughs> Very nicely. <laughs> uh, can we get that guy's air miles? Yeah, this game doesn't fuck around with just small arms. Everything you have is a big ass gun. I wasn't built for mountain fighting. That's the Swiss model. Caught up in my own explosion for a bit there. And okay, we could have used this to go after these guys as well, and that's my audio failing. So let me just refix that. 
Test one, two, three. Three, four, five. There we go. And where did all of you come from? Okay. Did, they, did those guys come out of the pub after us? Oh. But the heck blew up in my... Something blew up in my face there. Thank you for throwing me some explosives. Uh, can we... Yes, we can. Bye bye. Uh, just glorious destruction with these though, with those things every time. <laughs> Since they just fall apart into pieces. Oh, I saw that. Okay, where are the others? We take a quick glance around. There's a few of them around still. Oh, and I spot you there. <laughs> Just all the way down the fucking mountainside. Uh, and over there we have the sacred lamb. And yes, it is strapped with explosives. That'll come into play in the cutscene. Uh oh. Oh, oh thank you. Whoa. There are snipers crawling all over this place. Okay. Oh, uh, hello, boys. Yeah, you're looking the wrong way. But uh, don't mind me. Or just don't mind <laughs> the wanted <laughs> the wanted vigilantes. Can I turn this? No, I can't turn that far enough. I've got an idea. I shoot, you die. <laughs> uh, yeah. Q and Jonesy are just far more c combat capable than any of the Macarians allies. Because, well, for one, they will actually. Uh, start attacking on their own and not just only when they've been attacked themselves. Uh, there you are, you sneaky bastards. Get got you, git. And uh, while we're over here. Okay, maybe not. There we go. Also, yes, I am pretty sure that the roof of the roof of these things is the exact same as the roof of the Sea Reaper barracks. Uh, you just made that new approach. Oh, there comes the sole survivor. <laughs> Let's just leave him to his suffering for a bit. Oh, uh, press one to punch. Oh. Is that a split? Okay, whatever we were supposed to do with that, we utterly failed. But I am... I think I am remembering how you're supposed to use that. And ah, the sheep got shot. <laughs> and that's my job. Let's go. You're looking at That's... the worst place on earth. Uh. Yeah, th this game is just a ton of fun. Just checking inside for any tokens. Yeah, I think we can just run up to the sheep and uh, end it. Yeah. Great job saving the sacred lamb. Now you, you've you got to just get those explosives all <laughs> over him to worry about. So. 
Sí. Mi gun. Jonesy, defuse the bomb. Easy, fella. We'll have you out of there in no. Duck! Expert touch, Jones. <laughs> Oi, stop laughing. <laughs> oh, you know, it's just so. <laughs> Gentlemen, we have a dilemma. Wait, I've got an idea. Jonesy, grab that piece of fleece over there. And Q, there's another good bit right next to your foot. Okay. Right. Now, Rexus. Yes? Say. No, you don't. Quick, lads, grab him! Oh, no! Ready, Rexus? Yes. Nice and comfortable here, actually. Rome, you're a sick man. Oh! 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 oh. Is, is my little lambkins all right? Uh, well, he, he, he was slightly injured in the rescue, but I think he'll make it. Oh! Oh! Lambkin, it's me, Papa! Do you not recognize me? Oh, please, little one, let the sound of my voice calm your nerves, for you are home now. Oh, thank the Lord you are home. Well, well, well Wag? Oh, uh, uh bah, bah, he's alive! Lambkins! <laughs> Daddy! Bah, bah, no. Right, that's enough. Well, we fulfilled our part of the bargain. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, of course. God, I love explosives! Well, that was fun. Ready? What about Rexus? Oh, uh, we shall be hearing from him any moment now. Uh, really the, the, for the worst. It was really my what was compared to what I was worried to them to do. Uh. And yet people, I was worried that they were about to show Rexus off the sheet lord. <laughs> uh, no, the ass shoving uh, <laughs> that's not going to be a common thing. Um uh. are you telling me it may happen once more? Now, if I were to answer that truthfully, it spoiled the surprise if it ever did. So it, it's more fun to keep you in suspense. <laughs> no. uh, okay. Clear okay. road to Mountain Village. These hills are controlled by grunts and a Q112 eliminator. They've taken over some of the peasants' houses. Your mission, destroy six bullseye houses and the Q112. Uh, tip, do not blow up civilian houses, the ones without bullseyes. Because blowing those up is what gives us the penalties in the score. Yeah, and I have a confession. Hmm? I'm getting teared out of laughter here. <laughs> yeah, not <laughs> yet. It's rare, it is rare for me to start dropping tears from laughter. Especially when I'm not laughing that much. <laughs> okay. Starting off. I didn't know they had kidneys. I know I've got that thing. Mix that best cabbage soup in my lola. Okay, get rid of that one. Quick reloads. Come on, guys, you can open up fire as well. My target, but not going to complain. <laughs> Those guns will tear us to shreds. There we go. Saves us a few mines. I do wonder who painted all these bullseyes here. Oh, 
who is you are. Okay. And there goes another sheep. Okay, gimme. <laughs> <laughs> that mole, Jonesy. I heard his mother's easy. Oh, oh, oh um, on the eye, uh, I was going to say, Mr. Jonesy, sir. Easy on the eye. That'd better be what you were going to say. <laughs> <sighs> Just every visit to a pub in this game is a laugh. And yeah, black hole in the box. Oh no. And shotgun. Black hole in a box. It's one of the items I think I will put in the list of don't let Killian use. Uh, yeah, the, the land shotgun is a pretty common uh, in the, one of the in those top ten uh, weird or cool uh, weapon gun uh, <clears throat> lists and such that you find online. The heck did you come? Because not not only is it oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I see more dangerous shock weapons than this one. Yeah, it, it's cool, effective, Why and well, we generally useful. Until my head stops spinning? Oh, those things. Those we need to bomb away. Nope. Oh, I did not think that come our way. Okay, there we go. That way lies death, suffering, and weak beer. <laughs> oh, ice. There you go. Okay. You go deal with that. Uh, oh, black ball. Okay, oh, we're out of discs. That explains that. Oh, should I? Damn, those, those things go fast. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> that thing was going around like Mach fucking 5. Oh, no, of course. He took that thing over. Come on. How many of you guys are there? Yeah, and that was another Mark House. <laughs> okay, um We need to blow this up. Let's see that does. Okay, two will do. That those things will just keep firing mortar shells at us. Uh, Gimme! Yeah, there's a barracks over there. And of course, this, the alarm doesn't help much either. Oh, there's another one of those. There's the barracks. Oh, you're still a. You've come quite a distance. Oh, that's the black hole bomb. That's the black hole. <laughs> and, uh. Yeah, even here it's pulling at us. Get him. Oh, rep. Um, that should do. Okay. And we can breathe easily for a bit. Uh, you can see how absolutely hectic things can get. No, oh, really? 
Oh, there's the Eliminator. Yeah, that's Q's big brother. Oh. Or rather, his little brother, because Q was one of the first. So that makes that one <laughs> the younger brother. Uh, let's go heal up quick. <laughs> Uh, we don't want to die to that thing and have to do all Down of that again. With the king. And that refills our black hole bomb. You wanna see oh. 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 Oh, and he's pissed off. Let's see how you deal with the black hole. Have fun. Is it? No. <laughs> okay, wait. Oh, those were stored up there. He didn't much care for the black hole. Chuba, uh, Chuba. Never mind. Okay, yeah, on their own they are manageable, but uh, yeah, they'll show up in greater numbers later. Okay, your hero, the Q Q112 is down and the troops have been roused, roused, I didn't know that that was a word, from the uh, peasants' houses. Off, uh, off to the mountain village you go, and it should be followed by another cutscene. Delighted to make your... Uh... I've been expecting you. I... Here, come with me. Demon, out! What? Listen, Lily, I mean, thanks for showing us around and all, but... That's K2. He can tell the future. Be gone, says the soothsayer! Uh, why are we here? Listen. It is time I told you of the Majorcan prophecy foretold in the great book of rule. Oh, not again. It's all he ever talks about. Since Forge's invasion, oh, a great yeah. darkness has quietened this land into the pitiful moans of a poverty, plague, and famine. Hope itself is in its last dying breath. We bloody well got that right. Ah, but a day is approaching, dear friends. What day? The day when the four protectors will steal the book from King Forge and fulfill the Majorcan prophecy, ridding our land of his merciless rule. The what prophecy? And what do these protectors look like? One is a large metal giant. Another is a true warrior. Then there is a smelly old man and a really ugly rat. They will fulfill the prophecy by taking Midden's flower of innocence to the sacred ruin of Jerosa. It is here where our future will be decided. Guys, bonkers. You're telling me. Master Kato, they're here. Our beloved lion hearts. For five years they have been stealing from Forge and giving to the people. It is now time for them to achieve the ultimate height. The Book of Rule. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, little one, but we're not talking about small town thieves here. When the four protectors arrive, we will all know it. You know, I think I like to be healed. Good idea, Jones. Approach! <laughs> I'll make a prediction, laddie. I see big brown boxes in your future. <laughs> Sorted. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, uh, do you want to take a guess who the voice actor for Kato was there? 
Oh god, he did sound familiar. Problem is, he sounds like every damn. Ah, look at like every so that just like every song those two kinds of preaching preachers. <laughs> like, and I don't think I often see them as a Elvis version. Uh, yeah, shall I say it? Do it, please. Rob Paulson, aka. Hello? P <laughs> Timmy <laughs> Rob Paulson aka Pinky from Pinky and the Brain and Yakko Warner of the Animaniacs uh, I know nothing about Animaniacs but I do know Pinky Pinky I know of uh, yeah it, it's the same voice actor from Timmy from Giants <laughs> oh god <laughs> and here's the thing I want to know Pinky's voice things to the intro song I'm not I never really watched the Pink Air Brain too much. Maybe some clips here and there, but as a kid, I did not like them for some reason. No. I don't know why. I think it was just a weird face. I don't get the, they get the humor. I was very focused on that. If it was not nine to dinosaurs, I was not interested or something like that. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure they've visited the, the Jurassic period at least once in all of those episodes. Which I hmm. probably missed. Uh, I think my uh, little bro did like him, then. Yeah. Uh, it, overall, I've just got to say, Jonesy gets the worst of it with everything here <laughs> throughout the entire game. You'll see. Uh, save Everyone... the mountain villagers. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. I'm saying, everyone uses him as a yoke? Uh, not everyone, but he is the butt of many. Oh. Save the mountain villagers. The king has kidnapped people from the mountain village. Follow them, you know, find them, follow your compass, and return them to their houses, the ones with clone doormats. Uh, your mission, rescue five peasants and return them home. Destroy all the king's rocket towers. Tip, use forge cannons. Yeah, using forge cannons will help with the rocket towers. You can only carry three peasants at a time. Gotta save those peasants! Uh, yeah, this is another type of mission that we'll be doing a few times. Oh dear. And yeah, that's a rocket tower. And we've got a... There are no rocket towers. Nope. Okay, so we do get one of these. Uh, yeah, we start off this mission with this. I th if I remember, I think this is called the Vindaloo Rocket Launcher. And yeah, that's what it does. It locks on and fires two rockets. Oh. Oh. And yeah, now we have... Jet pack or uh, <laughs> jump pack captains to deal with as well. Yes. I think I almost walked off the mountain there. We should look. We need shelter. We need shelter. Right, actually, get rid of that thing. Okay. Hello. And goodbye. Okay. Uh, I hear a captain. I don't see a captain. So let's get this guy. And he just flops over and gets dragged around like a rag doll. Okay. Oh, come on. You get back here, you. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> that completely missed. And I see you up there. And it, they're too far away for the rifle. There's a sniper somewhere. There we go. Okay, can we get some breathing room here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, again, imagine if this was on medium. Oh, God. 
I think you need to fly on the ground. Here. You know, <laughs> well, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Wait, where did he land? I'm not sure. I don't think he even landed. I think he fell into the freaking abyss. Oops. <laughs> uh, oops. That, that one definitely did me. <laughs> Just the meaty chunk. <laughs> uh. Yeah, as much as I love uh, Giants in the Kabuto, I have to say that this is overall the superior game. I suspect this one they did not run out of bone on. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of help. Okay. Do I wonder? So that's a lady of the pond. Yeah, we still need to get to her. Yeah, Hello, we... I see you there. Excuse me, I get this a yoke of lady of the lake. However, Good maybe it's a fall trap, but someone think it, 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 I suspect that might be them from the, the other day. But. It's not Delphi if you're thinking that. There are, there are no direct connections between this game and Giants. Alright. That's good to me, but always, it, it felt like we didn't need it. We didn't need to play with the bomb. Oh, this one. Get rid of you. Oh. Wait, did, how did I? Did it zoom out when I picked up the third guy? Either way, let's bring one of them home. Hello, my name is. Oh, he's gone. Uh, I, I should double check who Q's voice actor is. And then she looked at me in the moonlight, eyes twinkling like the stars above, and said, "Ah." Oh, hello, Roman. Bye, Roman. <laughs> okay, there's another peasant, and here's someone else to drop off. Ain't not even a hit to thank you, bastard. <laughs> I can't feel my arm! My arm! Ouch! Now you'll feel a lot less now. Okay. Oop. I did not see that sniper there, sir. Thank you, Vindaloo Launcher. I did not see Bland either. Oh, get rid of that, quick. You just kill a bird. Maybe. Okay, their, their AI still has a few flaws. Like, you could... Oh. <laughs> you could have started shooting at the guy when you were running there. Yeah. Oh, that was you up. Let me... Wrong. There we go. Okay. There's someone... Yeah, here. And there's someone... Another house to deliver at. Uh, Rex Jones, not Rex. <laughs> it's okay, I can explain. Where have you been, you bastard? You know, I'd rather be out there kidnapped still. <laughs> and would you believe me when I'd say? But uh, we've only been at this for an hour and 45 minutes -ish. I haven't been this high since 1974. Hi, up. Hi. Uh. I would maybe believe you. Do we need to say to extend oh. it to something? Beautiful thing. 
Yeah, we'll be going for a bit longer. Okay, one more to go. And then we'll just have to destroy all of the rocket towers. Give me that. And well, since this is here... There we go. Now, where is the last guy? No way we have to drop him off. Yeah, that's easy, a lot of them. Oh, yes. The power of the bullet. And you just get double fucked. Where? Did we? Oh. He's right up here at the start. <laughs> Hello there. Roman. Okay. And yeah, now we just have to waddle his ass back. Just, he's just hanging there like a sack of fucking potatoes. Okay, great job. The king will be furious. You have destroyed his rocket towers, breaking his control of the mountains. Now after you go up the mountain up to Dick Turpin Village. Dick Turpin. Okay. What do you mean they destroyed it? They surprised us, sire. And who are you? Sire, this is Brother Ingmar. One of the Wildwood monks. Have you unlocked the book yet? Uh, not yet, sire. While under the locking spell, the book continues to appear as the Great Book of Basket Weaving. But we are only days away from unlocking it. And weaving some pretty fabulous baskets for your lordship. Sire, I forgot to mention, the locking spell has had some strange effects on the monks. They have a newfound love of, well, basket weaving. If your lordship so pleases. I brought you one. Oh, yeah, this is just a prototype. Later, who knows? Baskets as big as a house. Get away from me. And Rexus. Dick Turpin Village, sire. We are preparing to attack. Welcome to our village. Uh, Lily has told us of your quest. <laughs> We thank you for helping our people. The Majorcan prophecy is our only hope. Uh, great. Um, how do we get out of here? Off to set up the defenses then? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Today's battle will be a great one. And if you are to die on the battlefield, your memory will live on always. Okay, that's it. What the bloody hell are you on about? What battle? Why, the king's forces. They're preparing to sack our village. When are they supposed to be here? Dawn. <coughs> that's the spirit! <coughs> Defeated them yet? Okay, mate. What are we going to do? What kind of defenses do you have? Well, we have Henry. Henry? My grandfather. He's the oldest soldier in the village. <laughs> what a say. He's awfully thin. Yes, he doesn't eat much. <laughs> Quick, Grandfather, come outside! What? Who are you? Grandfather, we need your help! You are not my grandfather! Can you handle a gun? Jimmy! Oh, he's coming to pick me up for a drive in the country! But I told any ma, oh, no, 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 Jimmy can't drive! He only two year old! Oh, this! <laughs> Okay, anyone else, preferably living. Excuse me, sir. We do have the shrub patrol. They're the village gardening robots. We are here to serve you, sir. Okay. Look, the enemy's approaching. What do you suggest? Okay. 
Yes, yes. Yes, yes. We can plant a hedgerow. Ah, hedgerow? Yes, with some myrtle and maybe a row of geraniums. What? Can you do anything with them? Uh, I'll try. I can't promise anything. Sorry. We're not programmed for that kind of... Okay, soldiers, let's move out. Uh, good. You defend the... I'm sorry, civilian. I can't talk now. We have a crisis here. Why? Yes, keep back. Yeah, yeah, one of the things with this game is that yeah, even if the jokes don't land, they just throw them so at you so quick. <laughs> and yes, we will see a lot more of the Shrub Patrol. Yeah, that very song sounds epic. I didn't find that flower you were going to funny. Yes, yeah, the villagers of cloning was the a bit awkward part. Uh, also, I have found who Q's voice actor is, Pat Fraley. Oh. Oh. And yeah, when I was looking through his filmography here on International Movie Database, yeah, there's a lot of side stuff. But now that I'm down here at the 90s, I see some interesting stuff. For, uh, among them, of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show of the 1987 to 1996, Krang, and just an absolute list of other Nate characters. That that block, that that on the webcam, that's all of the characters that he voiced on TMNT. And for people who may not be familiar with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Buzz Lightyear. Oh yep. wait, what? That's Krang as well? Yep. <laughs> Oh god, now forever see Krang's face inside Boss Lightyear's suit. <laughs> uh, I have to say, I did not expect at all to find those two names there, because just half... I had to scroll halfway through the filmography page to find anything that I'd recognized here. There's, he also did voices in Star Wars games, uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, uh, Armed and Dangerous just passed by, What's New Scooby-Doo? Chicken Little, just a ton of additional voices and such. Uh, Red Alert 3, Kung Fu Panda game, Dragon Age Origins, and a few Final Fantasy games as well. Okay. Because he did Crank and Boss Land Years, it means he's skilled to have a lot of voices. Yeah. Whenever I look up a, a voice actor with this, I just get more, you know, more impressed with how much variation people can do. Yeah, there are some voice actors that don't have much variations. At least those you usually notice it right away, but then, yeah, then we have this guy, as you said here, that just blows your mind. Yeah. Okay, and also additional voices in Tangled, apparently. But let's, let's just move on. Defend Dick Turpin Village. The king has sent his army to wipe out the peasant and cap peasants and capture you. Survive as long as you can. Wipe out as many troops as you can. You will be taken prisoner if 100 grants enter the base. So the same as last time. Right. Let's see. Yeah! Your partisans to deal with. <laughs> and that was the glass shattering. Yeah, 
there is no overheat or anything with this. You can just keep firing. I see you there. Ah, oh, crap. Um. Okay, they got some stairs up already. No, ladders. Okay, that's a token again. No, you don't. Just in time for that one. Okay, yeah, I <laughs> kind of messed this up with how we have to deal more with these idiots climbing up than them approaching, but oh well. Is that a split? Okay, comes another plane. Can I shoot you down? Oh, this one. Limit un unlimited mortars for a short time. And there we go. No, you don't. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, oops. <laughs> I blew up one of these village buildings and Oh, they are already running. Okay. Well done. Dick Turpin's village is safe for now. And there should be another cutscene. Only fifteen dollars for the house Goodbye, Mr. Ruman. We're leaving too. Where are you going? Is it Walla? Henry takes me there every summer. Sounds nice. We've no time for this. Yes, it is. We need to find the lady of the pond. Say, Lily, you haven't heard anything about <laughs> any lady of a pond, have you? <gasps> wow, easy for her. Didn't want to. It's all right. It is hemorrhoids. Anyway, yes, the lady of the pond story is one of my favorites. She has the key to the wild wood gates. Great. Uh, where is she? She's <laughs> <laughs> not real. Blimey, who's the kid here? Wait! On the contrary, young girl, there are things far, far greater than simple childhood stories. Things you do not yet understand. Indeed, the Lady of the Pond is real. And only I, Axis, know the way to her. Yes, but you're as blind as a bat, you silly sod. Jones, why do you mock me so? Friends, I am but an old man. My knees are weak, my back is stiff, and I'm about as incontinent as they come. But there is one thing I do know. Upon our shoulders rest the hopes and dreams of an entire nation. And I'll be damned if I'm not going to do anything about it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're very grateful to you all. Henry would like you to have this. He made it when he was a young man. About 14 million years ago. I don't know how it works, but it does. <laughs> yep, now we have our own jetpack. Uh, and... Oh, it was a jetpack. <laughs> okay, who voices Rexus? 
Let's see. Uh oh. Shrap Patrol one, Messenger, no, no, Lady of the Ponds, Shrap Patrol two, John Mariano. Let's see, what is your filmography like? Uh, played in Jack, by the looks of it. Uh, show that. Okay, the uh, young Sheldon. Okay, he's still active at the very least, it shows then. Uh, let's see, anything recognizable, anything recognizable. Fallout 4, Abbott, Mark Somerset. Okay. Um, Justice League War, and Lightning Returns, additional voices. Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything that sticks out too much as uh, recognition. Hmm. Oh well. Let's see if I didn't mean to click there. But yeah, I remember this mission. Because we get this thing to jump around with. The king's in prison, those peasants! Oh yeah, it's another rescue one. And this one is quite a bit bigger from the last time. And we are running solo again. So we have to be careful. Uh, oh, you gave me two. Thank you. Okay, suddenly gothic music. Okay, let's just deal with you. Trenches in this place look like Rex's face. Oh, I missed you. And I hear someone with a machine gun next to me. Boy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got crushed. Oh, no. You failed. The peasants are doomed to a life of. Actually, they're already peasants. It can't really get. It, it really can't get much worse. But try again anyway. <laughs> Uh, save the Dick Turpinites. Destroy the three Goliaths. Return the three peasants to their homes. Well, yeah, if I jump and hold spacebar space again, it falls in the, the wings, actually. So you have to, well, jump again to descend quickly. A few more trenches in this place would look like Rex's face. And those are the Goliaths. And what other weapons do I have? Sniper, Vindaloo. Oh, that's gotta work. Those trenches sure are rich. Stop walking. Oh, uh, land voice. Okay, come on. I'm Roman, and I'm here to rescue you. Uh, any health, any health, any health? Nope. Uh, there. Thank you. Uh, there's number two. Uh, where's... There, you, there you are. Rescue. Nope. Rocket tower. All these rocks and dirt. Uh... And none of them go. Let's keep our distance this time. And deal with our jumpy bastards. Okay. I think it said you were a diamond in the rough there. Oh crap. Okay. Ah, yeah, now we also get these rockets, Captains. Still right, what? About you. I know they will. 
Yeah, the, the grunts well, will always be grunts. But the captains get more and more weapons as we go. Some of them. Okay, it looked like something was shooting from that house. But uh, yeah, let's just rush along. Nice dive roll. But Okay. Oh. <laughs> that mole, Jonesy. I heard his mother's easy. Oh, oh, oh. Um, on the eye, uh, I was going to say, Mr. Jonesy, sir. Easy on the eye. That'd better be what you were going to say. <laughs> uh, okay, we have no need for that. So out we go. No, we are practically already oh, done. Oh, you magnificent bastard. Okay. Yep. yep. Okay, nothing to say. Uh, here's the last. You've saved the day. Now get back to Dick Turpin Village, rendezvous with the Lionhearts and the Shrub Patrol, and go get the keys of Zardos. Yeah, we are rushing. We are getting through this game with blinding speed. Probably because we were doing the easy mode, but then again, yeah, normal we saw, mode was... <laughs> We saw normal. Yeah. We'll rendezvous at 0900 hours in the trenches. The resistance will never die. Yes. See you then. Well, that's cool. More on their way. Dick Turpin Village is defenseless. We'd better... We... I've got an idea. He's a weird one. Rexus, when we get to the planes, I want you to take the others and find the lady of the pond. Don't tell me you believe that rubbish. The Zardos keys are the only way into the wild wood. Just watch him, okay? What about you? Remember the old adage, attack when they're least expecting it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to cause a little diversion. Keep them off your backs and away from this village. Well, shouldn't we stick together? The village is safe now. At least I've done some good. What did you do? Read all about it! Read all about it! Midding nursing home level! Hundreds of old age pensioners homeless! Could be lost for days. Oh, does the king's evil know no bounds? A nursing home? Why? Well, Turpin Village is safe for the time being. Well, shouldn't we get out to those keys? <laughs> uh. Uh. Liberate Midden Retirement Community. For some bizarre reason, this king has sent troops to occupy the luxury Midden Retirement Community. Only you and your jumper pack can end the occupation. The Lyrehearts will meet you in the trenches when you're done. Your mission destroy the 14 bullseye houses and the Q112. Remember, only the buildings with the bullseyes. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah, Q means well, but uh, he's not the brightest with, well, tea running around in his veins <laughs> or his pipes. <laughs> okay. If my memory serves me, this mission can go on for a bit longer. So this might fill up the rest of the time. Okay. And yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that there are more than 21 levels because otherwise we'd probably Probably also already have covered like three quarters of the game if there was a token in each level. Yeah. Let's see, next one is here. 
This is your notice of eviction. No. I wouldn't live up here for all the tea in Armorsha. Okay. Yeah, even though the spread, even though the circle on this machine is so huge, when you actually start to fire it, it's it's not even half that spread. You have a disc. And that was my last one. Thank you. There. Yeah, this mission is a bit big. Oh, hello there. Another one diving out of the roots, out of the second story building. Is that that? That looks to be that. Oh, I'm out again. Hey, and one of you got the grenades. Boom. Oh, still alive. Not anymore. Okay. Can I throw one at that? No, I was out again. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I missed one. Another there. Yeah, this is a lot better than the Macarians' jetpacks, huh? I, it, I like it. Was he doing a <laughs> spin before I even shot him? Yeah, pub. Yeah. Yeah. Not many games to have that era. I've never asked this before, but, uh, really. Would you hold my hand? I mean, Sam. Sa Sam, that I got from the beach early. Really, really early this morning. Okay, now we've got some big, big guns. Where is the next? Uh, we don't really want to go down here. Because there's the big boy. Go. Only three more to go. Only one more to go. The range of this thing is basically infinite. Which is very nice. King's troops have destroyed this place. Uh, we've destroyed a good amount ourselves, Roman. Where's that last one? I think it's aiming it's aiming at the robots. Give me that. Enough. Nope. Yep. Wait, oh. Okay, I thought there was still one house to go. Good show. The retirees are, are safe. Go back to the trenches and rendezvous with the Lionhearts. And as usual, poof. Okay, now let's split up like I said and... What's that bloody awful racket? 
Oh, no, no, don't get up. We're just passing through. Ah, that's no good. Oh, I don't know. Can't be all that bad. Cup of tea. A shrubbery bush or a bouquet of petunias doesn't amount to a hell of beans when this god-awful war is raging through our land. Every garden is threatened. There you go, Romy. Hmm. Yes. And the people are in some serious danger, too. That's why we're going after the... Good point. Now, you're right there. What good are gardens without people to tend to them? At least in death, they can act as damn good fertilizer. <laughs> the damn good fertilizer. Heads up, man. We got trouble. <laughs> What? You all right? Go! Oh, you're welcome, cheeky sod. Oh, at this angle, it'll get more sun. Yes, but the ground has more moisture over here. Yeah, right. So you were saying, uh, what kind of resistance is this? The Mitten Shrub Patrol at your service. We're here to protect every plant, bush, and flower from the rabbit noble endeavor. Oh, that's it. We're off. Good idea. We'll rendezvous further ahead. You needn't bother. You listen to me, man. I know this is hard for you, but we've got to stick together. You hear me? It's okay to weep for all the plants we've loved and lost. I'm not. But weep today and fight tomorrow. This is a war we're going to win. Death to the salad eaters. Aha! Death to the salad eaters! Right, right. Point taken. See you later. Godspeed, comrade. Quick, let's go. Well, I was thinking you might have one last cup of... Death to the salad eaters! Oh, let it lay. Right, get after that key. I'm going to rattle them with a little diversion. I'll meet you at the Wildwood Gates. Why do I get the feeling I drew the short straw here? <laughs> uh, oh, this mission. This mission is something. Uh, but the extra time has passed, so we'll leave this for next time. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, when when you're pretty good at this game and on easy mode, you can fly through this game pretty damn fast. But I'm pretty sure we can still get one or two more streams out of this. I I hope so. I'll be sad if we finish it the next stream. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, even if it only lasts one more stream, it'll still have shown very brightly, don't you think? Uh, yeah, it still would be fun. Yeah, it. Uh, yeah, this game is rather short in comparison to some games that you get nowadays, or not compared to some games you get nowadays. Uh, but yeah, the one problem with Giants is that they, they, it went on for too long, longer than they had time to really work on. Yeah. So, yeah. This one is a lot more densely packed with everything. <laughs> Yeah, they probably knew how to organize the money. Like, all right, we have this last month's money, so we can make lost this much to make it good. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, and it it still just saddens me that after this they they were just forced to make shovelware basically, like with how again with the leap from giants to this game, imagine how a third game would have been. It could have been amazing. Yeah, it's not to say that this game isn't uh, good or not. It 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 is pretty great, I'd say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just it's times like that that lost potential just hurts. Okay. Yeah, but we'll leave this mission for next time. Did you so. have a save function? Yeah, it auto saves. Like resume game. Here, game two. Oh. Oh, good, good.
And let's see. There is somewhere to have the... I think it's here. Yeah, replay mission. Let's see. Bonus missions. Okay. There... There are a lot more... Mi it's not like we're on the semi-last mission here. I, either this starts to scroll... Or it starts filling in on the sides. Because we we are not at the end of the game. But for now... I'll, I'll have to make sure to check the, the audio in this game. And just tinker around with it to get it more even. But... This has been Armed and Dangerous, and thank you all for watching. If you've been, you know, anyone has been watching now, later on YouTube, thank you. And as always, thank you, thanks to you, Dirk here. Oh, you're most welcome. And yeah, in two days, more of this little gem. <laughs> yeah, but until then, until then. Be safe. <laughs>